today we are uh, moving in the eighth uh, chapter uh, eighth chapter name is a uh, akshara brahma akshara brahma uh, here uh, sri krishna uh, is uh, describe uh, the significance uh, several significance of the concept which we found in the uh, upanishad also okay and uh, main thing here he is given the uh, path uh, two paths uh, for the departure of our life so we move uh, here i am not mentioning the shlok uh, because uh, only the meaning is too much important so we will first two three shloka we are just uh, moving to uh, means we are studying only the Mm, meaning what he explained here the person who leaves the body uh, remembering me even in his uh, last moment to attend the visi uh, visible form there is a no uh, doubt no doubt of that whatever the feeling of the person remembering while leaving the body he attend them only because he has always been affected by the uh, same feeling in this uh, chapter sri krishna uh, explaining two path uh, of the our depart, uh, departure of our life means uh, after the death what is happening with our atma uh, of our soul he explained here so, so uh, he first explained uh, that which per, means the person when uh, his death is there and at the death time i mean at the end moment of his life if he is worshiping uh, god he achieve uh, the place of god means he achieve the swarga why because while he is leaving his body he is attached means affected uh, with uh, uh, krishna so next uh, shloka here he explain uh, very well what is happening after the uh, death and uh, when our uh, we should be die means not exactly like that but he is explaining what happen when which day uh, we will die uh, then after the death what we are achieving so here he explain i mentioned that there is a two path huh? so first uh, we will see the two path here Uh, he explained here yatra kale tvanavrutti mavrutti chaiva yoginah prayata yanti tam kalam vakshami bharatarshabha agnir jyoti rahashukla shanmasa uttarayanam tatra prayata gachanti brahma brahma vidojanah धूमे रात्रिस्तथा कृष्ण षण्मा सा दक्षिणायण त्र चंद्रमा संज्योतिर्योगी प्राप्य निवर्तते शुक्लकृष्ण गति हेत्ते जगत शाश्वते मत एक अनावृत्ति मनया यावृत वर्तते पुनः ऑल दि there are this four shloka he explain here yatra we will go uh, by word by word see yatra means where kala means a time to means a certainly anavrutti means no returning cha chaiva means a certainly ani yogina means a yogi Then and no return no returning is no mean, returning means there is a no rebirth avrittam vrittam yes vrittam means uh, he is not coming back to uh, on the earth he is not uh, taking rebirth who is not taking rebirth he is explaining the another uh, in the another shloka okay yes ma'am yeah. 
सो पर्यता मीन्स हैविंग डिपार्चर यांती मीन्स अटेन तम मीन्स दैट कालम मीन्स टाइम वक्षामिह वक्षामी मीन्स आई शेल डिस्क्राइब एंड भरतर्ष इट इज अ नेम ऑफ अर्जुना मीन्स हियर श्री कृष्ण वॉन्ट्स टू एक्सप्लेन अर्जुना मीन्स आई विल डिस्क्राइब यू द डिफरंट पाथ ऑफ पासिंग अवे फ्रॉम दिस वर्ल्ड वन पाथ मीन्स द पर्सन इज नॉट कमिंग ऑन द अर्थ मीन्स रिटर्निंग ऑन द अर्थ मीन्स ही इज नॉट टेकिंग रिबर्थ इज देर एंड अनदर पाथ इज देर so we will first see the first, um, path those is explaining in agnir jyoti agni means fire jyoti means light shukla uh, aham means a day time shukla uh, there is a um, see month is divided into two parts one uh, from the purnima to amavasya and amavasya to purnima as per hindu calendar in indian calendar this uh, is explaining uh, whole this uh, three shloka explaining as per our indian calendar shukla mas is there shan mas means uh, the six uh, months shukla means uh, from uh, amavasya to purnima those 15 days are there na no? that uh, period of 15 days known as shukla masa and the uttarayana means uh, the bright side uh, of the uh, sun uh, we known means the north side uh, of a uh, sun course we known as uttarayana here is also uh, we are dividing our year in a two part one is uttarayana and one is dakshinayana we know the uh, sun arise on the east side but while uh, he some days he tilted towards the north side known as a uttarayana and some days he tilted towards the south side known as a dakshinayana from this makar sankranti uh, the uttarayana is a start means sun is started little bit to uh, means tilted little towards the north side so this is known as a, known as a uttarayana and in uttarayana there is a light means sunlight is too much there and in dakshinayana there is a rainy season because of that there is a sunlight is there but less sun light is there so it known as a dakshinayana and is a krishna uh, time is dhumra time is there known as a. so first uh, line we will see jyoti mean uh, agnir jyoti we have seen this agni means a fire and jyoti means the light then arah ah means a day time shukla means the bright fortnight of the moon shan masa shan means six masa means a month and the uttarayana the sun northern course means a uttarayana then tatra tatra means that place paryata paryata this paryata means departed gachanti means to go brahma brahma vido jana means do jana jana means people those who knows the brahma those who knows the brahma they are not coming on the earth there is no rebirth when there is a no rebirth when there is a agni jyoti shukla mas and uttarayana is there so means a uh, bright sun uh, fortnight is there sun uh, is rising towards the north side that time those people are um, uh, means there is a death uh, of people they are not coming back to the uh, back on the earth they are just staying uh, in the uh, we know the swarga uh, the uh, our they are getting moksha uh, the liberation in the 25th uh, sutra he explain 
ಧೂಮ ರಾತ್ರಿ ಧೂಮ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಮೋಕ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಧೂಮ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ರಾತ್ರಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ನೈಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಧೂಮ ರಾತ್ರಿ ಧೂಮ ರಾತ್ರಿ ತಥಾ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ಫೋರ್ಟ್ ನೈಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ನಾವು ಐ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಶುಕ್ಲ ಮಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಶನ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಈವನ್ ಇನ್ ಪತಂಜಲಿ ಯೋಗ ಸೂತ್ರ ಪತಂಜಲಿ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ದ ಶುಕ್ಲ ಕರ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರ್ಮ ದೋಸ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಗುಡ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಶುಕ್ಲ ಕರ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ದೋಸ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಕರ್ಮ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರ್ಮ ಸೊ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಶುಕ್ಲ ರಿಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಬ್ರೈಟ್ನೆಸ್ and uh, krishna uh, represent as a darkness so uh, when there is a dhuma means a, mm, uh, smoke is there when there is a night and when there is a krishna mass uh, sh- paksha is there and shan mass of utna uh, dakshinayana uh, the southern uh, course of a uh, sun if that time uh, person means a death is there then what happen the tatra chandra then again uh, chandra mas is there uh, chandra mas means uh, the lunar uh, we know the solar epic and lunar epic so this is the uh, lunar e- epic the jyoti means a light and yogi uh, yogi means uh, the practitioner of a yoga paryapa means attain okay uh, nivartate means uh, he is coming back again the earth then here he uh, sri krishna explain uh, when there is a uh, smoke means uh, he is explaining the uh, whole uh, surrounding of uh, the nature when there is a smoke there is a night the krishna paksha is there and the uh, shan mas of uh, means uh, there is a dakshinayana and lunar epic is there so mm, uh, when uh, in this period those who are uh, dead they are coming back on the earth there is a rebirth means uh, if their karma is a uh, good they are staying uh, in the swarga for some time they are uh, means uh, yeah bhoga karma is there uh, he is a uh, Uh, staying for some time and again uh, to uh, return on the earth uh, to live the um, to was sorry he comes on the earth uh, to achieve the moksha means he started his journey against toward the moksha then he explain here shukle uh, krishna gati hete means shukla uh, we know uh, the brightness uh, is there krishna means darkness is there gati means a path he means certainly and janaha means the uh, this world uh, materialistic world then uh, in, uh, this shashvate means there is a um, uh, external uh, mata means open air means there is definitely he is coming back on the earth sri krishna wants to say like this so we will go, go through the meaning now here what sri krishna explain here i shall now describe you the different path uh, passing from the world one uh, which lead to the liberation and another leads to the rebirth those who know supreme brahma who depart from the world during the six month of the sun northern course bright uh, fortnight of the moon the bright part of the day attain the su- uh, supreme destination the practitioner of a vaidik ritual who passes during the six month uh, sun northern courses dark fort night of the moon the uh, time of the smoke and the night attain sensation body uh, abodes after enjoying the uh, self self 
प्लेजर मीन्स स्वर्ग दे अगेन रिटर्न ऑन द अर्थ दीज टू ब्राइट एंड डार्क पाथ इज देर एंड दे आर ऑलवेज एक्जिस्ट इन द वर्ल्ड द लाइट लीड्स टू लिबरेशन एंड द वे ऑफ डार्क लिबरेट्स टू मीन्स लीड्स टू द रिबर्थ सी दिस टू पाथ इज देर वन इज कृष्ण मीन्स लाइट पाथ इज देर टू मूव टू अर्द लिबरेशन एंड डार्क पाथ इज देर लीड टू अर्द रिबर्थ इवन दिस टू पाथ नोन एज शुक्ल मार्ग एंड कृष्ण मार्ग शुक्ल मार्ग मीन्स दैव दैव मार्ग दैव नोन एज दैवन मीन्स दो आर अटेंडिंग द लिबरेशन एंड कृष्ण मार्ग मीन्स दोज हु आर एंटर इन द सायकल ऑफ द बर्थ एंड द रिबर्थ द नोन एज द संसार चक्र are you uh, understanding properly this two path sometimes they are asking the question which marga is for the liberation and they are given this you know, combination uh, mean sequence uh, is there uh, those are uh, as a proper uh, you know sanskrit words they are using agni jyoti shukla shanmasa uttarayana and dumra ratri krishna shanmasa then which is uh, li- uh, path which path is uh, leads towards the liberation and which path is leads towards the rebirth i hope you are understand but is there any confuse any doubt is there no ma'am now we are in the chapter 9 the uh, chapter 9 uh, known as the rajavidya rajaguya rajavidya rajaguya means the uh, there are the yes uh, see last uh, two topic we have seen the bhakti bhakti and the bhakt then uh, after this bhakti and bhakt in this chapter sri krishna explain the supreme glory uh, which uh, the god have already the supreme supreme glory why he uh, explain here no, he wants to inspire arjuna uh, to means increase his devotion towards the lord towards the god so uh, he explain here the uh, rajavidya rajaguya the supreme knowledge the guya knowledge uh, which we known as the su- uh, supreme glories in this uh, here uh, he explain the main thing uh, in this chapter there is a yoga kshema this word yoga kshema they are asking the meaning of this word so what is the meaning of uh, yoga kshema first we will see and then we will see the whole meaning of the uh, this uh, shloka see this word yoga kshema we are cut it, uh, divided into two parts yoga and kshema yoga means uh, here we are taking yoga means the spiritual uh, asset uh, spiritual asset means uh, if we are using sanskrit word it is uh, adhyatma vidya and kshema means to protect that uh, vidya uh, protect that uh, uh, spiritual aspect means yoga kshema means the uh, pro- uh, spiritual aspect we have to protect that uh, spiritual uh, our asset that is known as a yoga kshema so he uh, explain here okay anyone wants to chant this shloka अनन्याश्चिन्तयन्तो 
there are uh, those who always think of me and engage exclusive uh, devotion to me means here ananyaya means always chintayanto ma chinta means to think ma means me and jana means a people the person paryopasate means a paryopasate upasate means a worship upasana means a worship and paryopasate means exclusively worship tesha means those nitya yukta uh, nitya bhi yukta nitya means uh, always uh, who are always mm, uh, Biyukta, biyukta means observe. Yoga, makshema. Yoga means a spiritual uh, this thing, and makshema uh, means to protect the spiritual asset. Vakshamah means a carry. Vakshamah and aham means I. So here uh, Sri Krishna explain those always think. Uh, of me and engage in exclusively uh, devote to me to them those mind always uh, observe uh, in me i provide uh, what they are lack and uh, pursue what they are uh, already possess means those thing uh, is a good to leads towards the moksha krishna is given to the uh, that people those uh, who are engaged with uh, krishna whose uh, mind always uh, observe with uh, krishna and who is uh, devotees only that shri krishna helping moves towards the uh, liberation towards the moksha now in this uh, where in ninth uh, at there this shloka is uh, too much uh, important and in this shloka the word yoga kshema is uh, too much important now we are in the 10th chapter 10th chapter uh, means uh, there is a too much big chapter because here he is explaining the vibhutis vibhutis means the, uh, his infinite uh, glories uh, he explain in this uh, chapter he explain here uh, in this uh, world where and which uh, part which uh, tree even uh, which uh, god he is uh, krishna is exist in that one so this uh, is a means i have completed here too much uh, slides but in this class we are going only to uh, through the two or three slides this uh, all these slides are not important only the because of your uh, your extra knowledge i am uh, just adding this uh, slides here i will, after your uh, this unit test i will provide you the pdf then you go with the line to line for this slides now we are just uh, seeing the major major part where the sri krishna exist so he explain here uh, means lord sri krishna uh, continue to describe his vibhuti uh, in following shloka uh, what he explain here there is a no end point all the uh, extent of my great vibhutis i am dealing my vibhutis means i am uh, detailing my vibhutis again specially for you why he is uh, using the word again because uh, arjuna uh, is uh, totally forgotten the uh, who is the krishna and uh, means uh, more one, one minute the original um, uh, rupa uh, original form of a krishna and original form of uh, himself already uh, arjuna is forgotten because of the avidya so sri krishna again uh, try to uh, recall his memory so because of that sri krishna used here the word again means before this arjuna knows uh, about the krishna and uh, his own 
the original form but because of the avidya he forgotten so again sri krishna try, try to recall here uh, he is over, uh, using <coughs> arjuna guda kesha the guda kesha is the one uh, means arjuna he recall uh, arjuna guda kesha what he said atma which uh, reside in in the heart of all being is a none other than myself i am the start uh, middle and the end of the being means we know that we always say in our heart there is a god why we are using this because sri krishna explain in the bhagavad gita and we are using also like this there is a um, adi ant and madhya who is this start middle and the end that is a god in uh, 21 uh, shloka he explained i am the vishnu among the 12 aditya there is a 12 aditya means dwadash aditya is there the aditya means the who are the uh, children of aditi aditi and the rishi kashyap they have no, rishi kashyap have two wives one is aditi and one is diti see which uh, aditi son is there they known as aditya and this aditya vishnu uh, is a sri krishna then i am the sun among the glow, uh, glowing entities in the universe glowing entities means the uh, which is the uh, see, fire is there even the um, uh, diamond is there those which is the glowing things in that one sun is the brightest no, means there is too much glowing so sun is the form of a sri krishna the we known as the ansha uh, the small part of uh, sri krishna then i am the marichi among the 49 uh, this maruta here i explain the aditya this uh, Mar- marich uh, maruta and aditya they are the step brothers the son of aditi known as the aditya and the son of diti known as the daitya but uh, aditi was a powerful uh, son uh, who um, uh, fought against the um, uh, god and he should win uh, so he um, preparing uh, the son means his womb uh, to um, uh, give the birth of a powerful son so he uh, protect uh, his um, baby in his stomach around one year then uh, daily he is uh, given uh, samskara to that baby to make uh, him uh, stronger than a uh, god uh, when uh, this uh, indra knows uh, about this thing he uh, decided to kill that uh, baby and he cut that baby in 49 parts and this 49 parts become a maruta maruta means a uh, wind so there are 49 types of wind are there and in this 49 wind the marich uh, wind means sri krishna so uh, then he said i am the moon among the star this is a uh, means uh, here is a uh, i explain the simple uh, significance uh, the best of the um, uh, from this uh, adhyaya there are so many things that sri krishna explain here that like this i am a samaveda among the veda i am a indra among the deva which uh, the head of the god we know as a indra so uh, the indra means a, a form of a sri krishna i am a manasa among the sense indriya sense organs in indriya i am a manasa i am a conscious among the living being i am a sankara uh, among the 11 the rudra there are 11 rudra and yaksha known as uh, 11 rudra are there and uh, yaksha is also there in yaksha there is a kubera 
Sri Krishna is a form of means a Kubera is a form of a Sri Krishna. I am a Agnihotra. You know, uh, Agnihotra means a uh, we, uh, daily ritual. We are uh, praying to the uh, fire, the god uh, Agni. That is known as a Agnihotra. This uh, Agni uh, known as a, uh, Vasus are there. Vasu are eight type of Vasu is there and the eight type, uh, this eight, uh, the Agnihotra is a uh, form of a Sri Krishna. So I am a, uh, the Meru, Meru is a mountain name. Among the mountain, I am a Meru, high, uh, the highest peak of the, uh, on the earth, Meru uh, mountain is there. Uh, that is a form of a Sri Krishna. So uh, even the Brahaspati is there, we known as a Purohit means a Brahman, the Brahaspati is a Sri Krishna, the Skanda is a Sri Krishna, in a ocean, means a, in a water body, the ocean is a Sri Krishna. See, I will provide you these uh, slides, then you go with these slides, okay? This is not too much important, but in case if uh, this examiner uh, are in the mood to ask in the detail, so we just moving, uh, Mr. Uh, recall, the, uh, we have to uh, study for this only. If you are uh, reading one or two times, you are uh, understanding very uh, nicely. And in revision, we also uh, continue, means conduct this class uh, in the revision, okay? Now we will moving forward. See, we are uh, coming in uh, on the eleventh chapter. We know the eleventh chapter uh, name is a uh, Vishwarupa Darshan. Vishwarupa Darshan means. Uh, uh, now we have um, there uh, described the uh, vibhutis for divine uh, power in previous um, uh, chapter. Here uh, he mentioned the beauty and glory of that power. To, um, uh, why he explaining the beauty and glory uh, of uh, Sri Krishna means of God? Because he wants to increase the curiosity of uh, Arjuna. So he explained here uh, that he uh, there is a uh, see uh, this shloka is here. Okay, anyone wants to chant this shloka? Sarika, Lipika ji, Radhika ji. I'm yes. yes. Eleven chapter. Tenth shloka is there. Yes, sir. just of me. Yes. Aneka bakrana yanam, aneka dhuta darsanam, aneka dipya varanam, dipya neko deta yudham, dipya malyam barangharam, dipya ganhanu lepanam, sarvasariam ayam devam, ananta bisato mukham. Okay, so we will see the aneka means many, vaktra means vakra means face, nayana means eyes, and anek again here is a anek word is using that aneka means many, then adbhuta. Darshanam, the wonder, uh, wonderful, uh, the vision, uh, Adbhuta Darshana, the wonderful vision is there. Then Divya Bharanam, Divya Bharanam means Divya means divine, and Bharanam means uh, that ornaments are there. Uh, the different types of uh, ornaments, Divya Bharanam is there. Then Anika Divya Anika Divya Ayudham 
ayudham means the weapons are there uh, in a gods and he explain here how uh, the supreme form of uh, krishna uh, which is uh, full of cosmic form uh, in uh, this shloka he is explaining what he explained in the cosmic form arjuna saw uh, ultimate face unlimited faces eyes the uh, decorated with many uh, ancestral uh, ornaments and uh, the winding many kinds of uh, divine weapons when uh, this divya rupa darshan is there shri krishna given a special uh, eyesight to the arjuna to see this uh, form of a shri krishna because with a normal eyes uh, arjuna is not able to see so he is giving the divya uh, this uh, netra uh, divya netra to arjuna to see the uh, divine power with this uh, eyes uh, what arjuna saw arjuna saw uh, so many faces are there so many eyes are there uh, his uh, body uh, is a uh, Uh, full of ornaments and uh, there are uh, different kinds of weapon in the uh, hand of god then he uh, uh, wore many uh, garlands on his body uh, those uh, means who yes uh, with a sweet uh, smile and uh, uh, what to do okay one minute Uh, anointed with many sweet smiling uh, heavenly uh, fragrance is there uh, he relevant himself uh, wonderful and infinite lord whose the face is everywhere means uh, what arjuna see, uh, saw there uh, he saw uh, the krishna's uh, the infinite uh, form means a cosmic form of a uh, god with her, uh, there is a lots of faces are there lots of ne- uh, netra is there eyes are there the body which is uh, krishna's body is a uh, full of ornaments he is wearing the lot of uh, garland uh, garlands are there with uh, because of the garland there is a uh, fragrance uh, divya gandha means a fragrance is heavenly fragrance is there so like this uh, uh, form Uh, uh, Sri Krishna uh, shows to Arjuna to increase his uh, curiosity towards the God. Then uh, in the twelfth chapter, uh, you are not becoming bored. Huh? if it is like this we will stop here then from 12 chapter we will uh, continue from tomorrow yes ma'am okay we will then uh, let me to stop this recording